Hi guys, my name is Mr. Trope. I just have noticed recently that there's been a lot of people on the forums both posting useful information about how to control this game so far, and uh, also some interesting posts about people's experiences so far, which I've really enjoyed seeing. Um, but there have also been a lot of posts about people that haven't been able to quite grasp the controls yet, which is fair enough. They Those posts do team seem to get uh, lost a lot in the um, massive amount of posts that are going up daily uh, since the alpha came out. Um, you'll have to bear with me. I This is my first Fraps video. I'm not actually using Fraps, sorry, OBS, but whatever, same thing. Um, and I just wanted to make a quick video where I'm actually going to go out, I'm going to kill the uh, the drone in the starting area, if it's there for this time, by myself, uh, and show you guys and explain a little bit of how to control the different various aspects of the ship. So hopefully we can uh, all have fun together as the game evolves. Um, I've turned off the music. I do actually really enjoy the music, but uh, for now it just gets in the way of my thinking. Passwords don't seem to work just yet. I added one before and still had people joining, So, uh, and I haven't messed with high score run or custom. Um, I'll do that a bit later. But for now we're just going to go with free play and next. And I'm going to hope that this works. I just put fraps because people know what that is and less people know what OBS is I think. But anyway, let's see how many trolls I get this time. Okay, first things first, I'm going to jump on pilot. It doesn't actually seem to matter uh, which one you pick. It's just the one I like because you get to get a better look at what's outside the ship. Um, and so far the environments have absolutely stunned me. I'm not going to add any bots. Uh, bots seem to cause more bugs and I'm not actually sure if they're implemented to do anything right now um, other than stand around looking pretty and amusing um, but when other players try to join your game sometimes they will add bots uh, which I'm not sure they're supposed to be able to do but when they do that if they add them to a station where there's a player that player will be disconnected from the game after some crazy bug stuff and it will cause all sorts of other strife anyway first things first we're gonna hit escape and open up the trade menu. Scroll down here and you want to buy immediately this one. You click, you do buy these things by clicking on the price here and then yes. Uh, not actually sure what that one does but it seems better to have it than not and so far money doesn't actually appear to have been implemented so you can just buy whatever you want. You definitely want this, the heavy shield generator mark 3. So we'll go bam bam, we got that. And this powerful weapon targeting chip because who doesn't want powerful weapons? Uh, once that's done, hit escape again and then you want to open ship's components right here. Um, sorry if my voice is cutting out every now and again. I'm using a push to talk key here and I have to release it to do certain things with the game or Windows freaks out in the background. Okay, now the things you've just bought will be here in your cargo. You want this one here is a powerful weapon targeting ship that actually goes down here in processes when you just drag and drop. The shield generator will place your beginner one over here. Just drag that and your old one goes into your cargo, so I guess maybe at some point you'll be able to see that. You can see here my shields are shooting up to 1000 now from the original 400, which is kind of crazy. This is another shield processor, I'm going to drop that in there. I think that just gives you a little bit of a boost. Or actually, did that make that less? Let's find out. Boom. Yeah, just a little bit of a boost there. And that's the CPU we bought, so I'll put that there too. I don't know what it does, but why not? Um, and there's that shield generator I just removed. Gives you a little bit of a boost. I think it makes it recharge a little bit faster as well, but that could just be my imagination. Okay, that's all done, so we're just going to hit escape again. And then one more time. And go back here. Now once we're out here, right now, the temperature doesn't seem to make a difference, and it seems to just kind of do whatever it wants, whether I like it to or not. So I like to mess with this. Now you can see I'm moving the mouse independently on these screens now without actually moving the whole view. You do that by holding down the space bar. And it will lock your view in place so you can move the mouse. Now I like to put engineering all the way up because that gives you more maneuverability with your thrusters while steering the ship. And drop that down because I don't know. You're not actually using the science lab right now. It's not been implemented. And um, I like to at least pretend I'm trying to balance things out. But then of course I'm going to do this so I guess I'm not pretending very hard. 
Uh, normally, when I play on my own, I'd immediately initiate the jump prep because that would take a while and I can then go fly around a bit and when I'm ready I just run back over here and hit the, the jump button. But I'm going to go and try and pick a fight and so far I haven't managed to get the auto cannons to work while the jump prep is either engaged or paused or ready. So I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Head over here to the guns. Now I'm not going to use these just yet because I don't want them firing straight away. But to use these auto guns, you pick the spot on the enemy ship you want it to target. Now I think that is the engineering room, uh, and that would be the science room, it's the reactor I guess, and I guess that's life support. Now being the evil, evil person that I am, I would normally target life support and reactors. You can only target one per weapon, but uh, because we're attacking drones, I'm just going to put them both straight onto the reactor. Uh, they're not going to fire straight away until I turn them off disarm to charging. Um, so we're just going to leave that until we're in position. Because the drone won't actually attack us until we attack it. And we're going to go throw some dirt in its eyes, attack it from behind, you know, be sneaky, get that first hit. Hopefully, sometimes it doesn't work. Anyway, to interact with this menu to pilot the ship, you just press R while looking at it. And boom, we're in third person view. We can look around, you actually just steer by pointing wherever you want the ship to go and it'll move itself into position, see that? Um, you can look around without moving the ship by holding the right mouse button and dragging the camera around and oh look at that we have a starting drone thank cracky this has taken me far too many times now so we're gonna go pick a fight with that little guy now you just use WASD to move um, W obviously being forward, S backwards and A and D is strafe now you just try to keep the little white dot pointed exactly where you want to go and the ship will eventually move itself there. I think I'm having a little bit of troll, trouble because I'm holding the control button but um, you guys need to be able to hear me. I probably should have turned off the push to talk. On the other hand I'm lactose intolerant and I just ate some sneaky accidental dairy in my dinner so probably a good thing it's on push to talk. <laughs> Charming I'm sure. Alright now we're pretty close to this guy you can have a look. I'm not sure if this is a bug how it kind of blindingly glows like that when your headlight is right on him, but there it is. Um, now I don't want to get too close because I've noticed the missiles tend to miss if you're right next to them, but we'll aim that and just have a look out. Okay, we're a bit far away. I'll just move a little closer. Uh, whatever you do, don't nudge it. I haven't done a bug report yet, but I have noticed that if you nudge the dude, uh, even though you don't take any damage from the collision, you will um, lose control of vertical movement. So you'll be able to move side to side, but you won't be able to steer up or down, which kind of a bit of a game breaker there. Okay, we're pretty close. Now that we're here, he's not attacking us, we're not attacking him. I'm going to stay right where I am, hit R again, pop back into the deck here, run over here, no, wait, sorry, wrong one, run over here, hold space so that I can do this, and go bang, bang and you'll see these start to charge up now as soon as that red bar reaches the end it'll start auto firing both those cannons and then recharging and then firing again now before that happens I want to be in a position to start dodging because he's going to start returning fire as soon as I hit him which apparently I didn't I think I just flew right over him or under him or I don't know what happened there I haven't actually failed to defeat one of these guys yet as you can see my shields in the top left corner all right now I'm going to move uh my shields are 1,090, or 1,190, and his are uh, 200. I just hit him there, you can already see he's taken some hull damage. Um, you really want to hit him with both volleys, otherwise you'll only really damage his shields, usually. And if you damage his shields, they'll just regenerate, unless you hit him again and again. So you want to get him as many times as possible. Uh, it's a good idea to keep moving forward. Uh, just keep moving around, trying to lead the target a little bit so that you hit him while also moving fast enough that he doesn't hit you. That was actually the fastest one I've ever destroyed. Look at that. There you go, he's dead. Um, he didn't even get a hit on me that time. It was a bit surprising. But, done is done. Um, yeah, you want to keep moving forward because if you stop for a second, he's going to start hitting you and even though you've got more shields, he will eventually wear you down and you don't have a whole lot of hull and he can take it out pretty quick. Now while I'm doing this, I guess I'll just throw in a little bit of extra and show you guys how to warp to a new sector. Because it's quite interesting. I love some of these new sectors. They're really just 
breathtaking. And and while I'm doing it, I'm going to point out. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but when you're lining your ship up into movement, see here, you can see these little jets of gas or uh, vapor there that I assume are your steering, um, kind of just redirecting the front end of the ship. And it's that kind of attention to detail that has really just absolutely wowed me with this alpha. So as you can see, I've lined up with that warp sector 593 there, and it's blue. Now in some sectors, and it does seem to be, based on my experience, uh, locked to sectors rather than the game or bugs or whatever, um, in some sectors you won't see those warp sectors by default. They'll be hidden and you'll have to hold down space to make them appear, uh, which will also make your cursor there appear. But in this particular sector, they're already lit up for me, so you just line one up, press R to go back into the ship, I'm going to just quickly turn these guys off, otherwise they'll keep firing at anything I target, and you seem to automatically target any hostile inner zone that you enter, so we don't want to go accidentally picking fights with things we haven't even seen yet. Disable those, and come over here. Once you're over here, initiate your jump prep, and give it a second. This is obviously why it's so much handy, uh, handier sorry, to have multiple players. Um, also, you can actually take out those drones even faster with a weapons guy, because he can go while that's charging, I'll show you, down here to weapons. Alright, and you can go to this thing, and you press R, and bam, look at that, you're controlling the turrets. I haven't figured out how to switch to the other turrets yet, they may be the auto turrets, so maybe you can't switch them. You can fire this thing, just on the left hand, and that's that, you can't fire any other weapons yet. Um, it's a lot more precise than it used to be. It used to, it used to explode at about the distance away that that next turret is, which made it kind of useless. Sorry, just ah, go back into the ship. Um, we didn't take any damage, so I can't show you how to fix it or put out fires. But when you have fires, just stand near them and hold down Y, and that'll fire extinguish other things. Bit of a bug with the door there. Look straight up into the. There we go. It's fixed. Uh, it should be ready by now. Boom, look at that, ready for jump. Okay, hit that, and I'll see you on the other side. Boom, look, we are now in a new sector. I'll just take a quick look around to show you, and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at these asteroids, I love it. I really can't wait till we can start exploring this stuff, maybe do some mining or something. Oh, there's another droid, but he's neutral for now, so I'm not going to attack him. But... I just love it. I love these nebulas and stars and things. Ah, and as you can see, there's no warp sectors showing up here. Now if I press space, boom, there they go. There's a few there. Release space, boom. And anyway, I think that's about everything, guys. Uh, you can actually, if you find one of those places that they have these giant mining rigs, or I, I don't know what they are, I just kind of assumed that they're mining rigs, you can actually fly through them, and I really recommend you try it out, just to have a look at the kind of attention to detail that the developers have put on the inside of these things, you know, and to imagine what it's going to be like when we can finally kind of board these areas and actually go exploring as a team. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm going to kill this thing now and hope I haven't killed my computer in the process. Again, first OBS. Um, thanks for listening, guys, and I hope to play with you all soon, and I hope you all have a really good time as much as I am with the game.